I will give a brief overview of the new sales agreement functionality in Dynamics AX 2012. Sales agreement allows us to set up customer's commitment to purchase various products over a limited period of time. Commitments can be for quantities and or amounts. Unlike trade agreements, sales agreement take into account all orders entered within the agreement until it is fulfilled or expired. So let's create a new sales agreement. New sales agreement. Specify a customer and also an expiration date. The end of the year. Let's select a sales agreement classification general sales and also a commitment type. Commi commitment can be of quantity or value. In this case we'll take quantity. We'll also give the agreement a title. We can also edit the address and terms. In this case we'll just take the defaults. We can now click on line view to add our agreement line. Let's choose a product and the customer will make a commitment to buy 100 units at a unit price of $500 each. We will now need to activate the agreement in order to use it. The agreement is now effective and we can go and create a new sales order. New sales order. We'll select the customer and also select the sales agreement. Click OK to switch to the line view and select the product can see that the unit price comes from the sales agreement. In this case the customer will buy 10 on this specific order. Any additional item of course would not, would not be part of this agreement. Next we will invoice the order. We'll invoice all quantities and click OK to invoice. The order is now invoice. Let's go back and check the sales agreement. Sales agreement and drill down to its details. We will now open up the line details and view the, fil ful the fulfillment for the agreement. We can see that 10 have been invoiced and there are 90 remaining. This agreement will remain in place until all units are delivered and invoiced or until it is expired. This concludes this overview.